Welcome back to the Morning Flood. Experience matters when it comes to selling things you don't want. Las Vegas Coin Company, they have decades of knowledge. <laughs> Whether it's about coins, collectibles, jewelry, watches, and more. <laughs> Listen, our friend John Jankowski is back. He's the owner of Las Vegas Coin Company. The problem is we've realized that the three of us have a lot of fun together. So uh, bear with us, guys, because we've started off. We were trying not to laugh at the beginning, but here we go. Okay. Anyhow. Strange chances today, but I got to put them on the table. Got to bring the got to bring the ketchup if you want burgers. I think it's the same. <laughs> That's the saying. <laughs> <laughs> what? It what? was. Yeah. <clears throat> Those ribs were good, weren't they? <laughs> so all of a sudden, Bob Sauce is the 800 pound gorilla in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be till tomorrow when it feels like 107 again. So make sure you stay hydrated tomorrow. It's a combination of Prada cologne, <laughs> rib smoke. Stop well, talking. Well, Stop talking. Here's, here's a sample. We'll see that again on Thursday, especially in. Oh, God. Javier, is this you? <laughs> this is all you. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. hope you enjoy your forecast. Bye. I'm leaving. Bye. 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 <laughs> no yeah, one that, can... that cackle is coming from Javier. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Glenda, no one can no. clear a room like a scary clown. I do not scary like clown. this. What's going on? Why are you here? <laughs> Is it over? Uh, it's not it over yet. Over. No, stop what, touching me. Would it help if you know the scary clown has donuts? Not no, really. Not really. Huh? No. You don't want those donuts? <laughs> uh, but okay, so scary clown hurts donuts is delivering donuts. Evil clown. Still Get here. Away. I'm, not, I'm not opening my eyes. I'm not opening my eyes. No, <laughs> no. Tears have already been shed in the, in the newsroom is my understanding. So thanks for the donuts. Bye. Are they Maybe good? Maybe Bob, Bob doesn't mind. Look. Yeah. There Bob? they are. Bob, you can escort the clown out now? Mm -hmm. Can you, you do that for us? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting cake oh, in your mouth? <laughs> Truth be told, I nothing. Yes, Javier had did. nothing to do with it. <laughs> Probably okay. ordered this up. Um, no hugs. I'll give you a hug, clown. Since I'm getting no love over here, let me give you a hug. Oh, I know. The It movie's gone, right? We've moved on, aren't we? Are we moving on? Bye. 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 What we're going to do is we're going to have you do a simpler pass. Simple so Riel's going to come on back, and she's just going to show you uh, what we call a straight jump. So you're going to touch the trampoline three times. Straight jump, tuck jump, tuck jump. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to go back to airport traffic. All right, Riel, do your thing. Let's go, Shim. Let's go, Shim. Woo! So straight, tuck. Oh. Tuck. I can do that. Let's go to airport traffic. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! Great. Here's a live look at the uh, boulevard. Come on, let's, let's go bumping down the boulevard. There you go. There you go. Right through the Wissahickon train station. A little sun glare in there. Oh, you, know, what, you all right? All right. <laughs> Go, go sit you down. We're going, oh, okay. Yeah. Westbound on the Scoogal Expressway. We had that overnight accident with the tractor trailer. Took down some of the um, easy pass signs. Peter, Peter Cottontail on the way. Doing the, doing the steamroller, all right? South on 95 between 413 and Academy Road. And we're getting set up for the big concert, of course. Oh, the sprinkler. Oh, I like the sprinkler. Welcome back to Ozark Spots AM. It's time to check in with the news desk for today's headlines. Good morning, Joe. Oh, <laughs> oh Jeremy. That looked like Lauren. That looked like Lauren to me. <laughs> I want to do my best show in person. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good morning, Lauren. <laughs> Jeremy, he's all, he's all messed up today. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh, we're not going to have time for very much news. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm Joe Morano. <laughs> Places like Minneapolis and Denver, and Denver's very high up. There's no snow in the forecast. 
Oh dear. Well, that's so that's that your the watch? yeah. That's my watch saying there's no snow in the forecast. Can Did you just that. trigger that? <laughs> well, it, obviously, it was listening to what I what I was saying. Apologies for that. That was not part of the plan. And um, there but is snow. In there, your... yeah, there is snow in your forecast. I thought. Yeah, but it probably doesn't know what place I'm talking. Oh, about. okay, all right. Yeah. Off you go. Yeah, off you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Should have taken it off. <laughs> anyway, so um, I think so many it'd be questions. Worth the risk to just wash the the underwear and and run the risk of it getting damaged yeah, or just buy new underwear right because how do you ruin your underwear i mean what's going to happen well there's ways to ruin it you, well, <laughs> <laughs> <Let's move on>. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we can't move on from that <laughs> 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 Scared me. That scared me. <laughs> oh, it's it's a a we are not paying you, bird. Uh, Get out. It doesn't want you to see the sky. It says no. You're you gonna literally look. freaked me out for a second. <laughs> I freaked because myself I thought, out. I thought you were just being dramatic, and no. then Gianna reacted, and I was like, oh god, get me a kid. <laughs> it's shaking its tail feather. Get we it. need that Nelly song to come on. Shaking tail feather. Okay. <laughs> My husband. I'm so done. Brincando, acabando, chocando, riendo, gozando, bailando, sonriendo. ¿Quién mueve a la gente? Las pistas se fueron el techo que no se estaba el techo con la mente. Lo que quiero que sigan la falso cantante que no me merece respeto y yo quiero que te de seguir que escuchando la cosa. Once we get through the wet rain, mm -hmm. wet rain. Yep. Brilliant. Uh, as opposed to the dry rain. As opposed to dry right. rain. Absolutely. Yep. Well, then we Keep get going. the cold snow. <laughs> yes, we'll get the cold snow. Exactly. See, she's got it. I don't know, Aaron, are you a fan of fruitcake? Well, I sit next to one. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> okay, on that note, folks, we're going to be right back. Oh, such we, a great day. We have some explaining to do here. Frozen Again, 93. <laughs> there goes Caroline. She's going to try to get to traffic at this point. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, you guys, we're going to send it over to Caroline for a quick look at traffic. Coming up, a day of fun at the beach turns serious. You're still thinking about shipping, aren't you? <laughs> and we'll have that story next. Therefore, Sunday. All right, thank you, Tom. Enjoying all this cool weather. Hopefully it stays like that forever. So, okay. Well, one local company is making a big investment in education. <laughs> Clico is donating $1 million to Sinlaw Community College, the power company making the announcement at today's North Rapids Business and Industry Alliance meeting in Pineville. <laughs> the money will fund scholarships, including but not limited to a diversity scholarship program. They'll also use the money for curriculum and development training. In the last little bit of that steady rainfall, this should push off the coast by around the 7 or 8 o'clock hour. Lancaster, PA. Megan sent this picture in this morning on my Facebook page going, what kind of clouds are these? They look like waves in the sky. Basically, those are undulatus asparagus. Asparagus. <laughs> asparagus. Undulatus asparagus clouds, even though yummy, yummy asparagus may have that for dinner. Anyway, this just goes the, shows the volatility in the atmosphere, showing the rising air and wind shear above, creating those waves in the clouds. 68. Days. Welcome back, friends. The time is now 631 on the clock. And good morning. Happy Tuesday to all. We hope you had a wonderful weekend. And if you're just now tuning in. What did I say? <laughs> it's happy Tuesday. See, that's what happens on a Monday. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> happy Monday. I'm sorry I couldn't hold it. No, in. I'm glad you. No, I'm glad you told me. Correct me. I correct you when you make mistakes. You really I apologize. Out. I apologize. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to everybody. Thank you, Thank you Mandy. You're welcome. You need to call me out. <laughs> See, that's a, just a classic Monday move right there. Mm, I can't I'm, get it I'm still not. You have to do the weather. <laughs> that's oh, those, so cute. What is that above your shoulder? Look. UFO. It's moving. <laughs> get, ah. Yes. That's so perfectly timed. I could have Wait a minute. It. It's still moving. <laughs> Probably a plane, my car. <laughs> uh-huh. Prove it. You just right. swallowed it. <laughs> Should have the right to choose whether or not they want an independent future. If we go into an early general election, if the SNP do perform as well as they hope they might in that election, then that could really strengthen their case for another independence referendum as well. I can overlook it at least this one time, Nick. I will. No, I, 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 well, well, maybe next Wednesday I'll have to remove it. <laughs> Restart you there, Nick. <laughs> uh, I just don't want to be the person who's like, I really don't want to be the person who breaks it that Wednesday's going to be uh, in the 80s. <laughs>
Oh, well, you got a Fonzie there. Hey, hey. come on, man. There you go. Get the song playing. <laughs> All right. I got to do something else. We'll look at our mobile weather tracker there in Cedar Springs. Now we'll hear from Melissa Heron in just a bit. But they are running. Oh, there's a yawn. <laughs> They're running into more icy conditions. Oh, she's not going to be happy with me. She I told her I was using it. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. And there's going to be lots more confusion until this whole thing is wrapped up. The goal of the experiment is to show that throwing water over a kitchen fire will actually make it worse. <laughs> ah! Firefighters say the best thing you can do is to grab a fire extinguisher to put out the fire. It's dark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, put it out! <laughs> It's still not there! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was, see, you like went direct. I don't want to do another take! Oh my god! I don't I think I'm still calling 911! Excuse me, because the power was out. We're off the whoo, uh oh, uh-oh. We're off the whoo. Well, throughout the evening, Cardi B fans who rolled up here to the El Paso County Coliseum went from feeling oh with anticipation to feeling brrr with disappointment as their plans fell through before their very eyes. The opportunity to see the rap A-lister in El Paso had fans saying, I like it like that. But the self-described trap Selena left many West Texans feeling a bit finessed when this morning it was announced that she would be postponing the show indefinitely. Several of those who arrived for the show were upset at the lack of email notice that the concert was off, especially because some had put that thing in sport and driven for hours to see the show. This is the second straight show that Cardi B has postponed in El Paso, so some fans that showed up here tonight said they may just opt for a refund and take the money instead. In Wisconsin, one man decided to steal a flute by shoving it down his pants. What? You can see it in his back pants there. The owner of the music store in downtown Janesville, Wisconsin, says he was upset about this attempted shoplifting, but he couldn't help but laugh. The owner's mother confronted the thief before he could exit the store with the flute in his pants. So then they kept the flute, but decided they didn't want anyone to put their lips on it. <laughs> so they what? turned it into a lamp. It's now a flute oh my lamp, goodness. a toot oh. flute there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. wow. Where did the story come from? Where did he, yeah, where do you find it's this Wisconsin. stuff? It's Wisconsin. It's only in Wisconsin. Oh. Oh boy. Oh great, now I get to follow that one. Whew. All right, well, <laughs> let's get you caught up on your weather with Heather. Hopefully you don't get any uh, Flute. I don't even know the name Tony came up with. The toot flute. The toot flute. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully none of those are in the forecast today. Woo. No. I can, I can safely say no. We've got... <laughs> We've got rain in the forecast this morning, though, and we're already seeing that there. 62 degrees, and as we take a live look outside, we've got the cloud cover, and we have the scattered rain showers, too. In fact, you can see those here on Doppler rain. I'm sorry. Logan Kidd grew up wanting to... Sorry, so he uh, is with the... Um, you know what? I... <laughs> That's all we have for the time we have for tonight, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>